Welcome back to another training video presented by AeroGuard Flight Training Center. My name is Beth Brown and I'm a flight instructor here with AeroGuard at our Deer Valley campus here in Phoenix, Arizona. Recently we've been talking about GPS. So staying aligned with that theme, I wanted to talk to you about the avionics we use here at AeroGuard. These integrated systems, they're officially known as electronic flight instrument systems, or commonly known as glass cockpits. So they're a little bit different than your standard steam gauge or six pack instruments. The G1000 NXI, it has this PFD, the primary flight display, and an MFD, which is the multifunction display. These are the digital screens that display our flight instruments. Along with that, it has an ADAHARS, which is the Air Data Attitude Heading Reference System. The G1000 contains an audio panel and the sensors and computers that process the flight and engine information. Then that those are going to be displayed on the PFD and MFD. Some of the ways G1000 receives its information, it's the same as your traditional steam gauge. And some of it has been modernized. For example, the pitot-static system, it's the same. The aircraft still has a pitot mast and it measures differential pressure from ram and static air. Now, instead of diaphragms and aneroid wafers, the ADAHARS processes this information from the pitot-static system along with the outside air temperature to display the altitude, airspeed, and vertical speed on the PFD. Now, gyroscopic principles and gimbal rings have also been replaced. And they've been replaced with accelerometers and magnetometers. Another neat aspect of the G1000 is how easily these components can be replaced. They, uh, they're replaced with things called LRUs, and that stands for Line Replaceable Units. Behind the MFD here is what looks like a cartridge that can easily be pulled out and replaced whenever you see a red X in its system code. On the left hand side of this instrument panel is the PFD and this is going to have all of your six pack information. The airspeed tapes on the left and the altitude tape on the right. Your VSI is this black arrow here and that reads zero because we're level. <laughs> you have the HSI in the center and your attitude on top. This little white brick is going to be your slip skid. This basically has your entire instrument panel. In the center is the audio panel and that's going to have your comm and nav. It's going to allow you to select your volume and even hook up to your Bluetooth music. On the right is going to be your MFD and this is going to display all of your engine instruments and map. First you want to make sure that it's valid with the expiration date. It is, so I'll hit enter. It takes you to your weight planning page and the auxiliary. It allows you to actually put in your weight so we'll have the weight for the pilots there and I'll scroll down. For the fuel on board, it has an option to fob sink. When you select that, it has sensors in the fuel tanks that lets you know how much weight is on board. That's set up, so I'll hit enter. And so now I'm in the auxiliary page. From here, you have the ability to scroll to your GPS. I see that I have all of these satellites active and it allows me to compute my RAIN right there. RAIN is available. SBAS is going to allow you to see that you have three diff navigation and that your WAS is enabled. Going back to the auxiliary page, I can go to the system status setup. Now all of these right here are your LRU information. All of these green checks represent a different, a different computer within the G1000 system. The neat thing about the G1000, like we mentioned, is that if one of these was unavailable or dysfunctional, that green check would be a red X, signifying that's the LRU that needs to be replaced. From this page, you also have the ability to set up to your G1000 uh, Bluetooth, but we'll save that for later and just stick to the basics. So you may notice that this aircraft does not have a magnetic compass. Well, that's because we have two magnetometers, one for the G1000 and one for our Aspen standby system. These magnetometers are solid state three axis electronic compasses and they're mounted in specific locations on each wing to ensure they aren't interfered with by electrical disturbances. The last components to mention are the accelerometers and rate sensors. 
The Adahars contains these advanced sensors and it takes the magnetic information from the magnetometer to display the information you see on the HSI attitude indicator, slip skid indicator, and rate of turn indicator. The G1000 has more features than I can describe in this video. Whenever I fly with someone new, I always learn another cool thing about the G1000. If you have a favorite feature or something that you learned, please share it below. We love learning new things. Thanks for watching our videos. We hope to fly with you one day. In the meantime, please like and subscribe below. See you next time.